everything you need to know on Excel Ribbon. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this Excel tutorial for beginners, I will be explaining a few menu from the ribbon. In previous tutorial, I have explained the file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, and review tab. And in this tutorial, we are going to explain briefly view, developer, and the help menu from your Excel ribbon. If you are a beginner, this is an excellent start for you. Make sure you check all three videos on Microsoft Excel ribbon in the channel. Let's get started. So the first menu in our tutorial today is the view tab. Okay. In the view tab, you have several menu groups. The first one is workbook views. These four are inside the workbook views group. Then we have show, then we have zoom, and then window and macros. So first option is normal. This is the normal views. Okay. If you change it to page break preview which is this one and you want to go back to your normal excel view you can click here normal this is the page break preview and then we have the page layout which includes the ruler and grid lines and also our header footer and our page okay so page layout is mainly used for printing option and if you want to customize your page layout this is where you will find it okay and here we have custom views in custom view you can save a page view for further use you can also include hidden rows columns cell selection filter settings window settings space settings margin header footer and sheet settings in custom views so let's go to normal view and let's hide row 3 to 5 and create a custom view on it so custom view add and let's write the name hidden rows okay now click ok so our custom view is created it's already listed now if i unhide these rows and suppose i need to go back to that view so if i click on custom views and click on show you can see this rows are already hidden so it's already created for us because we have saved this view in the custom view and if you want you can delete this view the next part is the show option here ruler this is inactive because we are not in page layout option so if i click here and now you can see if we want to show the ruler or hide it if you want to remove the grid line you can check or uncheck this formula bar and headings so this is how you can remove this option or you can include this option the next part is the zoom option if i click here zoom and you will find this pop up and you can customize your zoom from here you can zoom in or you can zoom out if you click here it will go back to the 100 percent zoom also we have the zoom option here you can zoom in and out from here okay now this is an option zoom to selection so if i select the cell d3 and click here zoom to selection it will zoom in including that selection and we can go back to 100 percent zoom okay now the next part is the window here new window if i click here you can see a new window is created with the same workbook you can see the first workbook name is book one and then we have another one and if i go to the new one book one by two okay so we just created a new window for the same workbook so this is how you can create multiple window of a single workbook so that you can work simultaneously without going back and forth or scrolling up and down okay it will work excellently if you arrange all these windows how you can arrange it here we have option arrange all if I select here it will give us option I want to arrange in vertical manner and if I click OK you can see the same workbook in two different window and they are arranged here okay so if I write here cell A1 you can see in this window we have automatically written cell 1 because this is the same workbook but in two different window if you have multiple worksheet let's create another worksheet and I want to keep here sheet 1 and I want to work on sheet 2. So 
I can work on two different sheet at a time without going back and forth to different sheet. Okay. Now let's close this. Now we have free span. I have created a tutorial on free span. You can check that here. It will keep the first row or the first column from scrolling. Okay. So if I click here, free stop row. And now if I scroll, you can see the top row is always visible, no matter if I scroll down or not. There is another option here, first column. So if I scroll, you can see the first column is always visible. And there is the third option of free span. Now let's unfree span. If I select cell C3 and click on free span and then click free span, and you can see the first two row is fixed and the first two column is also fixed okay so three option one for the top row one for the left column and another is for your custom free span option okay in the drop down and free span and everything go back to normal now we have split and height okay so let's say i am selecting cell h6 and if i click here split the workbook is splitted in four sections, okay? And we can access everything from any of this window, but you can keep a certain part of your worksheet visible and then you can work as you wish. So you can split your workbook in different way. So let's say you want to match data from here, but in column AA, okay? Now, Normally, you can never see the third column if you are working on here. Okay, but if we split the screen, we can still watch this part and we can work on a different part. As if you click here again, your splitting will be removed. Now, the next part is height. If you click here, your worksheet is hidden. And if I click on hide, and it will ask for which worksheet we want to unhide. The book one is already hidden. So if I click here, it's open. Okay. And the next option is not available because we have only one window. Let's create another window. So we have two window here, book one. And then you can see view side by side. If I click here, here is our two window and you can see the scrolling is already connected. So if I scroll here, this part is also scrolling. If I scroll and you can change that. If you unselect this option, synchronous scrolling, and then you can scroll here and here individually, okay? And here we have reset window position. So let's say if we change the window position, if I click here, the window position will be reset, okay? Now switch windows, we have two window. We can easily switch windows from here switch windows so each time we switch window the window is changing here we have macros macros is a bit advanced and we are going to talk about this in the developer tab it's already there but usually developer tab isn't available in the ribbon that's why we have this menu macro included in the view okay so if you don't have developer tab please check out this tutorial and learn how to add developer tab to your ribbon once you have added your developer tab here is how you can use it so in the developer tab we have several menu groups the first one is code the second one is add-in and then control and xml okay so in the course section we have a whole new segment here visual basic if you click here a new window will open and you can create your custom programming here using visual basic for application and i have created a tutorial on explaining menus from visual basic you can check that here and then we have macros here we will find all the macro or all the code you have written in the visual basic listed here and from here you can run check step by step if that code is correct you can edit create delete and you have different option like renaming okay and then we have record macro this is how you can create a macro within the workbook you don't need to write any code for here you click on record macro and you do something and the macro will be recorded that means the code will be written for you and if you run that macro that task will be automatically done for you so, okay 
and there are techniques for recording macro here is the link and use relative reference so excel use absolute and relative reference if your macro requires relative reference you will have to click here and then start recording your macro if you don't want relative reference uncheck it and here we have macro security i have a dedicated video on macro security please check that now the next menu group is add-ins here we have three types of add-ins if i click on add-in you can install add-in from the store and use as you wish and then excel add-ins this comes with excel interface and i have already created a tutorial on using solver add-in you can check that and then we have the com add-ins you can add remove or install com add-in from here your install add-ins will be listed here and you can activate them from here okay and the next part is insert from the insert menu you can create different buttons and controls and there are two ways of creating controls from control and active x control you create this button and you can assign a macro or you can create a code and use them with these buttons okay so once you create a button here you are in the design mode okay in the design mode you can edit that button or rename if you click here from the design mode the button is active the next part is properties this is your worksheet properties and here you can view code if you have any code written in this worksheet and here run dialog you can run custom dialog box from here the next part is xml xml stands for extensive markup language it was designed to store and transfer data and here in this segment we can import and export xml data and we can do that in our familiar excel interface okay we can import xml data from our existing data source and then we can edit it and we can export it so you can actually use microsoft excel as xml generator okay and the best part is that you can do that from the interface you know for a long time and then the last part is here help menu okay from the help menu if you click here you'll find out this pop-up from here you can search and get help let's say i want to find how to remove duplicate if i write remove and you can see remove duplicate and if i press enter a lot of article will be provided to us and you can learn how to remove duplicates from here so if you want to do something and you don't know how to do it you just click here and search you'll find a tutorial on it and you can learn on your own no need to go or no need to visit any site or anywhere you can learn from here if you can't find from here you will have to search online okay and the next part contact support if you want you can get help from office support agent and then feedback and here show training if you click here it will give you a basic training tutorial list okay now this list is found in the new workbook option here you can see these are the tutorials already placed so if you are opening your workbook first time you find this tutorial you can learn it from here okay the same thing is placed in show training option here you have community and excel block you can check the excel user community or you can read articles from microsoft excel so that's it for now thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial please share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching